Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Friday, October 15th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, today, October 15th, is Hollis and Maggie Carrington's anniversary. Happy anniversary, Hollis and, and Maggie. We love you so much. We're grateful for uh, your presence in our church and in our life. Um, Maggie is a tremendous blessing to us. I haven't seen her in church on Sunday because of the pandemic, but um, but she's a, a valued and important member of our church, oftentimes worship leader, oftentimes uh, planning our special events. Um, so yeah, lots of awesome things. Um, and I, yeah, sorry, I just had a text from my daughter. I have to think about it. I'll do it after the, the video. Tonight is the Van Heeps Deeper Life. Today is not the Van Heeps Deeper Life Group. It happens every other Friday, so that's not tonight. So no Van Heeps Deeper Life Group tonight. Tomorrow, Saturday, the 16th, is Zaire Rogers' birthday, Joylyn Shepard's birthday, and, and is it Veronica Todd's birthday? Or did I forget to delete that? No, it is Veronica Todd's birthday. Yay! Zaire, Joylyn, Veronica, three very different women, but awesome uh, women in our lives. So happy birthday to Zaire, Joylyn, and Veronica. Love you guys very much. We pray for you to have a wonderful birthday tomorrow. And on Sunday, at, at uh, 10 a.m. will be our Sunday morning service here at DeGarmo Road. And of course, at 7 p.m. deeper, our, our deeper Bible study for our teens. So yeah, that's what's going on this weekend. Great weekend. Uh, so I preached on Sunday out of Zechariah chapter 8, verses 9 through 19. And I talked there about, uh, about uh, the things that God calls us to be strong about. To, and specifically, I called the sermon Sowing Truth and Peace. And he talks about those when he's talking about what we shall do. He said what he, in the first paragraph, God talks about what he's going to do. He, he tells us to let our hands be strong because here's the things he's going to do. He's going to bless us in a variety of ways. But here's the things in the second paragraph, what we shall do. Speak the truth to one another. Render in our gates judgments that are true and make for peace. Do not devise evil in your hearts against one another and love no false oath. At the center of this is this command to render in our gates judgments that are true and make for peace. Uh, the gates of a city in the ancient world were the place where uh, judicial judgments were made, where cases were heard, uh, and the judges who were uh, the official judges of the city, uh, the elders of the city would make those judgments and they would uh, pass judgment that was, had legal force. Um, well. God's command here is that in, the, in, the, in their courts of law, in their gates, they should render judgments that had two qualities. One, they had to be true. And two, they had to make for peace. They had to be true and they had to make for peace. And um, I feel, and maybe this is a simplistic way of looking at it. I, I get that, it's possible. But I feel like in our society today, in the American culture, that uh, sort of one side of the political arena believes in uh, sort of true judgments. Judgments have to be true. And the other side of the, the political arena feels that judgments have to make for peace. Again, maybe simplistic. I think both sides uh, have both things in mind to some degree. But I think those, both of those qualities need to be part of any judicial system. Any, any good judicial system has to have judgments that are both true and make for peace. Um, there are some things that are true that do not make for peace, right? Um, I'm not saying that there are truths that should not be spoken or something like that, but but you know there we can we can have judgments that follow the letter of the law, um, but ultimately do harm to individuals and to society. That's it's important to leaven the truth with peace, with a desire for peace. But there's, it's also possible to render judgments that make for peace, but ignore the truth. And uh, when that happens, it, it also feels like an injustice has been done. True justice incorporates both qualities, judgments that are true and that have peace as their end. 
Um, and I think that as Christians, we can't be beholden to either side of the political aisle if they focus only on those things, um, the one or the other. For the Christian, just, justice has to incorporate both. Now, there's other qualities in the scriptures that uh, are, are for true judgments. Certainly, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of restrictions on judges from taking bribes. Uh, from showing partiality to people. Those are things that ought not to be done. But those things uh, get towards the truth part of, the, of, uh, of judgment. So I, I think that the, they're all sort of subsumed under those two. Uh, judgments that are true and make for peace. Let's, let's strive to have both when we get the opportunity to pass judgment. And let's strive for both uh, in, in our, our society, the church, and the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a God who judges us truthfully, but you also are a God who judges us uh, in a way that makes for peace. And I thank you for that. Thank you for Jesus who makes peace between us. Lord, I pray your blessing on everybody who's within the sound of my voice here. I pray for um, Hollis and Maggie Carrington on their anniversary, for Zaire, Joy Lynn, and Veronica on their birthdays. Please bless them, encourage them, and strengthen them. May they all know that they are loved and cherished by you and by their church. I pray for our service on Sunday. I pray for deeper. Lord, may this church uh, bring your word forward and, and raise your people up to be disciples of you. Uh, bless us this weekend. I look forward to us talking again on Monday. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I, I do love you, New Beginnings. I thank you for joining me for this daily update and devotional video, and I do look forward to talking to you again on Monday morning.